Hey guys, Sam from West Meadow Rabbits here. I hope you all were saving your feed bags because it is fall. And fall time means collecting all these free leaves. As you can see, we've got plenty. And using them as a nice uh, treat in the winter and the colder months for your rabbits to mix up their diet. And obviously, you see my other videos talking about how rabbits love these leaves. I get a lot of questions all the time about which leaves are poisonous, which leaves aren't, oak leaves, blah, 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 blah. I've never had any issues with any of the native trees growing around me. You could do some research in your area and try it out. But generally speaking, I say trial and error. And as you know, I like to harp on genetics, genetics, genetics. So what may be poisonous to one rabbit may not be poisonous to your rabbits if you use... Um, your breeding program wisely to select for the genetics that you want. In my case, I like rabbits who are hardy and can eat a variety of foods, so we don't have any problem with leaves. So what I'm going to do is pick up as many of these leaves as I can, and I try to get a good diversity, and then I'm going to stuff them into the feed sacks that I've been saving over the summer and fill my little shed up as much as I can with leaves. Now, one thing to note on these, you want freshly fallen leaves that are still you know, kind of lights that have been compacted and become, you know, this one's sort of marginal. Now, obviously, I've had a lot of rain. I don't know where you guys are, but here in New England, we have had rain. It's okay if they've been rained on as long as they're mostly dry. And uh, we got a little bit of a crinkle to them when you go to store them. The bigger thing to keep in mind is just don't, don't, um, don't take leaves that have been very heavily compacted or if you're in a really woodsy area you know you can see this first layer these leaves all good if I dig down here we've got leaves that have been you know here since last year which is uh, mostly composted at this point but you definitely don't want to do those so don't don't dig too deeply you know don't be crazy just take what you can off the top store them in those feed sacks and you'll have a fantastic treat for rabbits throughout the winter it'll add some variety to their diet tree leaves are really unique a lot of different trees have different nutrient profiles especially trees have the ability to you know really send their roots down and pull up minerals that uh smaller plants may not be able to access you know i've talked about before how folklore says that oak leaves are great for parasites in rabbits and other animals because of all the tannins don't know how true that is but they really really love them and, um, you know, let your animals tell you what to do. If you've got a happy rabbit who's chowing down on his oak leaves, probably means there's something right. He's like, what, what are you looking at me for? So don't be shy, guys. Dig in there. Stuff those feed bags full. You're probably not going to last all winter, but, you know, make hay when the sun shines and make leaf hay when the trees turn. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more videos coming out soon guys very exciting news possibly in the future I will let you know if it happens. I don't want to jinx it stay tuned for more in the meantime Please like share and subscribe so you can stay updated on all the cool stuff we put out. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks